Hi everybody, my name is Todd Scholl. I teach at Carolina Forest High School. And I'm uh, here today to uh, talk to you about how to make a $50 smart board. Come on a little closer and let's take a look. You might be wondering, why do I have a, a baby bottle? Um, Mr. Barry Yang, who's from Ocean Bay Middle School, uh, constructed this uh, device. And um, I got the parts and, and the schematics, and, and Mr. Yane sort of went to town with this and, uh, and, and made this infrared light pen. And uh, these parts can be found at Radio Shack, most of them. And we'll talk about how to construct this later. But this pen is going to communicate with this Wii remote. It's called a Wiimote. And most, uh, a lot of people have, already have a Wii. If you don't, you can purchase just the Wiimote. You don't have to get the whole system. You can purchase this Wiimote for about $40. You can get it at a place like Best Buy. Once you've got this, you're going to connect it uh, to your computer through Bluetooth. Uh, if your computer doesn't already have Bluetooth, and most of the Dells that we have in Horry County don't have it built in, um, you can purchase a, a Bluetooth adapter. And they look like this, and I'll talk more about those in detail later. But the Wiimote has to be connected to the computer through this adapter. And then what you can do is, lights please. You can actually, I have to calibrate it. We're going to calibrate this, uh, this, we, this, this system like this. Click here, click here, click here, click here. Now, once that calibration is done, I can use this pen. And this is just a screen. It's not a whiteboard. And I can actually move windows around and I can actually for example go to the internet down here and click on links click on these tabs scroll and I can even go into a program like this paint give it a minute to open and when I go in here I can uh, make this a little bit bigger, choose color, and I can actually write with my Wiimote. So as you can see, there's a lot of functions for this and, it's, and it works very much just like a traditional whiteboard. Um, I'm going to show you how, to, how you put this all together. If you'll turn on the lights again. First thing uh, we need to look at, we, we looked at how it works, the basics of it and we showed what it can do for you. The guy who came up with this was a guy named Johnny Lee. And um, so it's not my idea, but we, we took his idea and, uh, and have applied it to our classroom setting. And you can find out more at johnnylee.net. What do you need? You need? This is what you need to purchase. And you can turn off the, the right light again. We can see this a little bit better. Right, you can go ahead and turn the other one off too. The Wemo is about $40 from Best Buy. The Bluetooth adapter we got was about $8.59, but I rounded it to around $10. I got mine from Newegg.com, and that $8.50 something included sh free shipping. Um, you can get an infrared pen. Um, you, can purchase, you can make one like this. You can build it yourself for probably around 5 bucks, or you can go online, and they have, they have infrared pens for around $8 to $15 on up, depending on the, the quality of the pen and how much you want to spend. And the software that you need to do this is free. And I'll show you where to download that later. The pen. All the parts for the pen are available at Radio Shack, except for this LED. Now, this LED was actually taken out of another remote. So if you want to try taking one out of an old remote and using it, you can. Um, but if you want to order the best um, LED for this particular project, it's called the Viche TFAL. 6400, TFAL 6400 LED. If you do a Google search for this, you can find them. They're around a quarter a piece. So they're about 25 cents each. Now, we went ahead and ordered several of them so that if we screwed up, made a mistake, we'd have uh, extra parts. Um, with, with shipping, it was around 6 or $7 for 10 of them. Um, you need to get the switch. And if you'll turn the lights back on so they can see this pen a little bit closer, this switch right here is I purchased it at um, Radio Shack at the mall, at Grand, Grand, uh, Coastal Grand Mall. Uh, I don't remember how much it was, but it was about probably like 50 cents. We purchased the wiring. You probably already have wires at home. If you don't, you can get that at Radio Shack. And then this battery case. 
Um, you can purchase a battery case like this uh, and put in uh, AAA batteries or you can uh, purchase uh, a different type of system. You just want to make sure that you have enough power for the LED that you choose. The LED, uh, like I said, you probably want to order that online. If you want to try taking one out of an old remote, you can. I'm going to show you a schematic now. And uh, if I can pull it up here, let's see. And um, turn off the lights again for me. Um, this is sort of a schematic for the pen, sort of break it down. Um, you have your infrared light. Again, it's a V-shaped TFA L6400. Um, you're going to connect the positive end, which I believe is the longer end. And that goes to your switch. And, and you're going to uh, solder that. And then from your switch to your battery case, to the, to the red wire. And then from your black to back to the... Uh, to the other end, I believe it's the shorter end of the LED. Now this, this particular schematic is for a 1.5 volt size N battery, which you can use if you'd like to. We happen to use uh, AAAs for the ones that we did because our, our LED was a little bit more powerful. So let's go back. Um, and if you turn, no, leave the lights off actually. Um, so you need to switch the wire in the battery case is something to house the parts. In this case, uh, Mr. Yane, since he just had a, a baby with his uh, beautiful wife, Shauna, uh, he, he has some extra bottles lying around. He made it out of a baby bottle. You don't have to use this. A lot of people online use uh, markers and just sort of take out the guts of the marker and, and fit their parts inside. Um, you can come up with your own design. It doesn't really matter. The key is, though, that the infrared light has to be on the outside. It can't be housed inside or deep inside because then the Wemo can't, can't see that light as well. Um, it will also help for you to have a soldering iron. You can get one, one of those at Walmart for probably less than $10 if you don't already have one, and some solder, and uh, you, that's relatively cheap too. You can get probably a whole kit with the solder for five to 10 bucks at the most if you don't already have some. Now, the key is here too, if you're, if you're a little bit intimidated about making a pen like this, um, even though it's not too complicated, but maybe you don't feel comfortable soldering, you just don't want to deal with it, you can go online and do a search for IR pens or infrared pens, and you can purchase one for anywhere from like 8 on up to you know, 15 20 dollars. So you can just bypass that if you'd like. The key is that this, this smart, a smart board would cost $2,000. This is going to cost you anywhere from 50 to $60. Now, the software, if you, get a, if you need to get a Bluetooth adapter, if your laptop doesn't have Bluetooth, and you get your Bluetooth adapter, that should come with a disk, and you'll need to install those drivers. If it doesn't come with a disk, you should be able to automatically install the drivers or go online to the company that you purchased it from and download the drivers from their website. Really not that hard. At johnnylee.net, you're going to get all the software uh, that you need in terms of the, the calibration and the connection to your computer, and I'll show that to you in just a second. And, and that's that, that software that Johnny Lee gives you for free uh, it helps calibrate. And let me go ahead and, and show you um, what it looks like when you go to johnnylee.net. If you type in johnnylee.net, can you get that up there so you can show them? johnnylee.net, when you go there, you just scroll down to We Remote Projects, click there. And once you click there, it, there's, it tells you a lot about the project, and, um, and then you want to click right here, we white, Wiimote Whiteboard version 0 0.3. You click that, you download that. When you download that, um, the first thing you need to do, though, is there's a README text file. You want to read that, and basically all that's going to say is the first thing you need to do before you set up the calibration is make sure you connect through your Bluetooth connection your Wemo. Once you've done that, then you can do your calibration like I showed you earlier with your four points, and then you can use your you can use your uh, IR pen.